but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. A sound of torn metal, teeth running over the edge of the rocks, a moon that casts a signal as I lay pinned beside you, the ticking of the cooling engine, and the calling from a great height, all my mind as a bypass. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection.
returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit, for the traces of Donnelly, for any sign of Jacobson's flock, for the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Hester. He was not drunk at all, and it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart.
am the Ariel. In my passing, I will send news to each and every star. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. <laughs> 